should be back now. But yeah, Politana was actually not in one of the um, previous tournaments, so she's allowed in. But let's go ahead and shovel this a few times. This is directly after the last tournament, so Piranha Plant will have to return, I guess. Piranha Plant and Olive Barn, the only two that are returning. But we've also got um, Jigglypuff, Duck Hunt, Mewtwo, Politana, Donkey Kong, Rob, Falco, Greninja, um, Peach, Bowser, Pikachu, Robin, Simon, Belmont, and Little Mac. So that last fight should be pretty interesting. See how Simon destroys Little Mac. We yeah, this one, or I might do another CPU tournament after this to get to the final set of four, and then do like the pre-COCs for that, and then that will be the last CPU tournament that I do today. But I do want to go ahead and do a lot of them today, so that way we can be halfway finished for the season. It looks like Piranha Plant's going to go ahead and not be in the lead for this one. Yeah, Jigglypuff for some reason tried to rest Piranha Plant there. That was kind of strange. I guess Jigglypuff does what she wants. Oh, it was Accolades really for the VR kit. I was like, wait, they're announcing new stuff for the VR kit. But yeah, I actually like the VR kit for the Switch. It's actually kind of decent. I just don't like that it doesn't come with a strap. But yeah, there's a rest from Jigglypuff actually connecting. But she's still at disadvantage, so still pretty much a stock behind. Still at kill percent to pretty much anything. There's another rest coming out from Jigglypuff, so I guess that's what she was trying to do, is just kill with rest inside Blue Cloud. And it worked there, but... Now Jigglypuff's at 121%, whereas Prada Plant's at 8.3, and they're both at the same stock, being their second. Oh yeah, I remember you, I should. Or at least I remember your name, I don't remember what stream you were on, though. We're gonna see another rush from Jigglypuff not actually work. And then a forward smash from Prada Blind is going to connect, but... Jigglypuff's only at 56% after that, so she's fine, I guess. Like, she probably can't live another forward smash with the ledge. Unless, like, she barely makes it, probably, but... Even then, she's still gonna be a cool percent after being hit by that one, so... And there's another rest from Jigglypuff that actually does connect, so... That's how she's been getting kills, is through rest. But, if she misses a rest, then she gets punished really badly. I can actually see her winning this game, it's just not that likely. I thought she was gonna go for a rest there. I guess it wouldn't have had a knock knockback to keep Piranha Plant away from her. That re but yeah, that rest would kill, but she didn't go for it. Yeah, 
got back air from Front Plant will also kill. So. His fifth one in a row. If Olimar wins this game, I don't know if he beats Olimar. But I feel like Olimar will win this game against Duck Hunt. I can see him losing, but it's just too unlikely against Duck Hunt. One of the strongest characters in the game versus one of, versus one of the weakest, pretty much, is the matchup here. If you didn't know. And he's timed that perfectly to get the invincibility from the up throw to be able to avoid the can damage. And there's another can getting blocked by Holomar, except this time it actually killed Duck Hunt. Holomar's only at 65, like usually he's at 110 before he gets a kill, because he just gets knocked into disadvantage and he can't escape. And he just ran into the can, but it's hard because Duck Hunt's still at 95%, so I still say that Olimar wins this fight. But I'm not saying that Duck Hunt can't either. Yeah, there's some Purple Pippin forward smash, so that's going to be a stock. These games are actually faster than they usually are. Especially for Olimar being there. Now we've got Mewtwo versus Politana. Today's actually the day that I had to play Mewtwo for my character day challenge that I've been doing, so. She's actually not doing that well against me too at the beginning here. Like only a 20% difference, but I guess we should just have somewhat of a high damage output. On certain moves. Yeah, Politanda can really rack up damage from like neutral air combos. Yeah, dash attack's extremely safe for Falotain in that scenario. Blocks out the down air hit. And then she countered the forward air from Mewtwo. So she's gonna have a 4% lead here. If she lands a back throw on Mewtwo, like facing away from the ledge, and she can get a stock here, do nair to down here, and then she could have done an up air there as well to get a stock. So she lands a forward smash, which will take Mewtwo's first stock, first minute and a half of the game. Another down air coming up from Politana did not kill Mewtwo this time, but it got kind of close. Barely grabbed the ledge there for sure. Yeah, he had to teleport behind Polyhana to avoid that. 
which is kind of risky to do, but he's got a 44% disadvantage at the start here, rather than like a 70, so that's not that bad. Or I guess now it's a 70. Spot dodge and punish with the up smash. Really easy to kill on Mewtwo there. Due to Mewtwo's light weight, allows you to kill off the top very easily. Yeah, this is actually extremely bad for Mewtwo. Voice oh. bone, because my throat, but yeah, clearly bad for me too. Do two with my weight. Yeah, he got the stock, but he's still going to be at a really bad disadvantage of stock. As you can see by that neutral air, pretty much doing the same amount of knockback as like an up air from Ganondorf on a normal character. is going to kill you too. For sure. That I read that percent. Too bad for you. So Politana moves on to round two. Now we've got Donkey Kong versus Rob. Rob could actually avoid the cargo throw thing as long as he has his up special. At least he can avoid it a lot easier than most characters. Cargo throw at the stage. still somewhat of a close game, I would say, because Rob can just down air Donkey Kong, like he almost did there. Rob's down air has a really strange hitbox, so he can just jump out the ledge or down air without having to go away from the ledge to spike people. He's like one of the few characters that can spike pretty much any recovery. stock against Rob. Rob's actually pretty heavy as well, so I wasn't gonna live for longer against Donkey Kong. That up air did like 30%. Up air for Donkey Kong does so much damage. And that also has some pretty decent knockback as well. It can kill Rob probably at 80% at the top platform there. Or I wouldn't say 80, but like if you did like up air to up air, then probably 80. Yeah, Donkey Kong's at 208 and he's still alive. Rob still had his second stock though, so he could just take Donkey Kong's stock. On his last one, or this one, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, up left is definitely going to kill Rob there. So. Donkey Kong's are pretty solid heavy to me, but I feel like Bowser's just slightly better. 
least to me. Bowser feels a lot faster than Donkey Kong, although I don't think he is. But his edge guard is pretty insane, actually. For not having, like, a spike as pretty much like Donkey Kong. Like, Donkey Kong has four spike hitboxes. Whereas Bowser's just got, like, down air and down B, which are both hitboxes that cause him to die. But he still has some really good edge guard with fair. Like fair kills off stage at like 40% for most characters. And then he can ledge trap a lot better than Monkey Kong can. And cover a lot more ledge options. So I don't really know which one's better. And his recovery is a lot better than Donkey Kong's as well. Yeah, that upper is going to kill Rob. Falco versus Greninja. Falco does get home vote of it. It seems like every time that a Star Fox character plays the game, like one of their first games are going to be at Wyland. Like before um, Grand Finals, or not Grand Finals, but Finals. Grand Finals is for the Contest Champions. Although I'm probably not gonna do a loser's bracket like I did in the last one, like I didn't do one. I thought that second up there was gonna kill. But yeah, Falco is actually a really fun character to play as in this game. He's not that great in my opinion, but he's still really fun. He's probably like a uh, upper mid tier character. He just doesn't really kill that well. Like he killed there with back air. Back air's probably one of its better kill moves, but it's really hard for him to kill a lot of people until they're at like 120. And then he can do kill setups, but then if he or if the kill setups don't work anymore because the percent's too high, then he really struggles to kill there. And he just has to kill with down tilt. The down tilt has very limited range. Yeah, they both lost the stock here, although Falco's still ahead by about 30%. Falco's in the footstool for Ninja actually, but it's still not going to be enough to kill. Fire. Yeah, if I were Falco, I'd just be like fishing for down tilt at this rate. So if I were Greninja, then I would be in the air, which is basically what Greninja does anyway, so that's kind of the main problem with this matchup is that you won't be able to kill people unless you can get the kill setups for it. And then you just have to hope that they fall into a smash shack if not. Like that Greninja did on the second stock. But now Greninja's on his last, so. Probably gotta play a little bit more defensively. Which doesn't really work that well for Greninja, I would say. He's a very good rushdown character, but he's just not that great at being defensive, at least to me. Because he doesn't really have a lot of moves that work for spacing. You can see, like, he went. Really aggressive there with that edge guard, and it ended up evening out the game pretty much. Like a 30% disadvantage for Greninja is not really that much. Yeah, that was a really good counter, actually. Second hit. I don't even know if you can carry that second hit for Falco's up smash. Falco with another 
footstool, but it's not going to be able to kill this time either. Yeah, he's gonna land forward tilt to forward air, and then it's going to be enough to win him the game. So yeah, that's as you can see, he's starting to play a little bit more aggressively there after landing that. But I was like, I think up tilt actually, not forward tilt. But as soon as he landed that, he went for an aggressive play and then got stuck. Or that could have even been dash attack. Now we have Pete versus Bowser. Don't know if Bowser's trying to escape from Peach or. Maybe Bowser's trying to kidnap Peach. Go. We get hit by a side special there. But yeah, his jab's going to be enough to give him the lead by about 4% and then he ends up tilt as well. Gonna land another side special, that one's not going to kill but the next one probably will. If he doesn't this stock at least. And by this stock I mean Peach's stock. Not Bowser stock. Yeah, there was enough tilt. That's going to be enough for sure. Bowser and Donkey Kong's up tilts are surprisingly strong for how fast they are. Stock. But yeah, Bowser. Yeah, he's just like before it's kind of but I was going to say, he doesn't really have that bad of. Or I mean, he shouldn't really have that bad of a disadvantage against Bowser, but. Now she does. But yeah, this is one of Peach's worst matchups, but. It's not a. It's not like a matchup she loses, I would say. It's just one that she's going to struggle to win with. Bowser just doesn't really die to Peach that easily. Because Peach isn't that great at gimping recoveries that work like Bowser's do. She can um, still gimp them though by like floating at the ledge, but it's a lot harder to hit a float at the ledge against Bowser's up B than most. Bowser does take that game, so. Now we can move on to the next fight. Which is going to be. Who is that? Pikachu versus Robin. For battle number 7 of round 1. and I just realized I didn't have Joker in it. That's gonna be kind of strange. 
that down there, it's going to be enough kill rock in there for sure. Pikachu got a very early kill at like 40% against Robin. I'm just gonna have to play a lot more carefully now. There's not going to be enough skill Pikachu, even though Pikachu is kind of light. Now that's kind of weird. Pikachu went for the grab out of shield there. Most rapid jabs, or I think actually all rapid jabs, they hit where you can't grab out of shield unless you have a tether grab. It's not gonna kill, but it was actually pretty close. Robin's jab is actually really powerful. If you do the one with the explosive or the explosion at the end. But yeah, Robin's gonna lose second stock there. Pikachu's still on his first, although he's gonna get fared and lose it. So, I mean, the same thing could happen to Robin here. Down smash is going to heal Robin a lot, but it's not going to be enough to even give him the lead against Pikachu in terms of percent. That one will. Although then Pikachu took it back. I would have gone for the side special if I were that Pikachu. Let's just see if I could hit it. I did that the other day to someone in um, Smash Down. I was on, like we were playing on one stock, and I was, had gotten Pikachu randomly, so then I just went for um, down air side special, because the down air didn't connect right, so then I like barely hit the side special and it ended up working out. So. Let's see, we've got Simon Belmont versus Little Mac here. I'm interested to see who wins this fight. I think it's going to be Belmont personally, but... I want to see if Little Mac can KO Punch Belmont. I need to finish the sheets thing for um, season two. Like I started it on episode one, but I never finished it, so I need to get that finished, and then I can finish the rest of the episodes and like fill in all of everyone's scores. Little Mac's actually landing a lot of down smashes here. And now he's got KO Punch, so... And Simon is at kill percent for KO Punch. But he does lose KO Punch, and then he... gets Little Mac with the axe, although it didn't kill. Yeah, down smash is going to be able to take Little Mac's first stock here. Um, Simon's actually at 73, I thought he'd be a little bit lower at this point in time. Little Mac's got an SD there, so... Now Simon's at 85% with two stocks, compared to Little Mac's one stock at 0%. And he's going to be hit by that forward smash, and it will be enough to kill.
Yeah, Little Mac's gonna get KO Punch, it looks like, and then he might be able to hit Simon with it. Yep. But Simon still has one stock, so now it's just even in terms of stock, but Mac's still 80% behind. We're on a walk-off stage, though, so we'll just give Mac advantage at the moment. Well, that's unfortunate. His position, whenever it was still a walk off, made it where he couldn't recover. And now we can just watch Simon Belmont just do some whipping in the background. Don't know why this wind screen exists, but I do like it. So, yeah, Little Mike actually sd would there, so that's why there were two stocks taken. Round two! So now we have Piranha Plant versus Olimar. Only one of these people have won a tournament. I guess both of them won a tournament. I guess and only one will be able to win this one, possibly. I was actually playing Pokemon models for some before I started the stream. I'm like watching Netflix, but I was playing Pokemon Ultra Sun in the background. Because I've been playing that a bit, so that way when um, Sword and Shield comes out, I can have some decent Pokemon at the start. Although I already had decent Pokemon, I just wanted a little bit more decent, I guess. So I got like a Talon Flame now. That is. EV trained, or I, yeah, I EV trained it, but I haven't finished level training it. It's only levels like 30 something. But I'm finding the Elite Four to get the rest of the levels. And I've got it with a Lucky Egg and, um, got the Rotom XP share thing. Or not XP share, but XP boost on it as well. Yeah, I'm just going to be able to take Chrono Plants first stock. But yeah, I got it almost perfectly IV trained. Like, it's just missing, um, special attack, but special attack's not important for the talent flame that I want, so that's why I don't mind it not having a perfect special attack stat, but all the rest of its stats are perfect in IV training, so. Or not IV training, but just its IVs. And then I'll probably grab a shiny one, so that way whenever, um, I'm egg hunting, I can have a shiny talent flame with, um, Flame Body. Uh. Forward Air is going to be enough to kill Piranha Plant there. So it looks like Piranha Plant's not gonna make it through this one. I figured all the plant- I mean, all of our might have a decent shot at Plant, but... Right now he's just destroying Plant. That was a really good back air from Pokemon, actually. And that could have broken Olimar's shield, I think, if he had hadn't parried it. That was a really good slide from Plant, but it's not going to be enough to kill. It was close though. And yeah, there's a down smash coming out from Plant, so we can see him return this game into his favor. He did that before, but it's never done it at 119% against Olimar, who's just gonna knock up his percent even more with Pikmin. Up to 134. Almar does have a, like, 98% lead, well now over a 100, so... Yeah, there's the up smash. So, as soon as I saw that parry, I was like, he's just gonna up smash. I 
Because that's just all of Mars thing. Now we got Politana versus Donkey Kong. just like sets up for a dash attack but it's not even true if she countered up air that would actually do a massive amount as well that was a really bad time to counter That was a bad time for Donkey Kong to roll into the explosive flame. So, I mean, Politan is at 33%. Not that bad. Donkey Kong can get a few hits to double it like he did, but Politan can also just get a few hits to kill Donkey Kong off stage with a down air. Or like down tilt to give his recovery in two frame. Of Smash actually gives Politano the lead here, and a full tilt is going to take Donkey Kong's stock, so now she has a stock lead, but not in terms of percent at least. Not really seeing her go for counter anymore. Or there she is, but very really bad spot to do that. I mean, I guess it could have been worse. Could have done it off stage. Then the up tilt's going to take her stock. Yeah, once again, Donkey Kong can get out of a 30% disadvantage pretty easily. Any kind of just did, but. Um, Politana can actually keep him at disadvantage very easily as well. that it did 30% just off of countering up air. I just wanted to see how much percent it did, so that's why I was watching that. But it did 30%. And now we have Greninja versus Bowser. Or it wasn't exactly 30, it was probably like 28, but it was still a lot of percent off of one move. I thought it would do more though. That is going to be enough to get Bowser. Greninja is a very solid character though, so I'm not surprised that he already has a lead here. You have to watch out for Bowser's tough guy, because that basically just means that rapid jabs don't do anything to him. Except a little bit of damage. And also let him set up for its matches. If he would have upbeat like a second earlier, then he would have died. And I guess Greninja just wanted to do that for reasons, but he didn't really have to do the second. I mean, the first four there. Yeah, 
we're back in Dreamland, which we would still have gotten any hills, so nothing noteworthy yet. King DDD is in the background spectating. Can't really participate because he won the contest of champions, so. Not really allowed in this tournament that prepares for the contest of champions. If he's already won the actual thing. That was a pretty solid grab. I imagine if that had a lot less end lag neutral beat, and you could just run up and grab somebody after you hit the moves, that would actually make Greninja S tier. Like my S tier is the top 5 characters in the game, and that would definitely put him at the top 5. But it just has a little bit too much end lag to where it's very inconsistent on if you get a grab or not. A very bad idea to go for that rapid jab. Bowser can still win this game just by hitting a forward air or a down air. He could also hit a down beam break or ninja shield and then just go for it. a forward smash out of that or something. But it looks like Red Ninja's gonna be able to parry everything Bowser does, so maybe not. If Bowser or does a side special on Greninja, Greninja dies. But yeah, that also kills Greninja there as forward smash. But Bowser risked everything to do that forward smash, because Greninja was charging up neutral B. So if Greninja would have hit the neutral B first, then Bowser would have died. Now we have Pikachu versus Slime and Belmont, and this is a game where Slime and Belmont actually probably will lose. Three, two, one, go! He was gonna side special the other way. It wouldn't have worked, but it would have been pretty cool to see if it did work. He could go for Alpha Thunder at the top platform. Pikachu. Or I mean Pikachu could. That was a really good SCI to get behind, but not that great of a punish. We were getting behind him, but good SCI. He sure has that kill percent for forward smash, so. And also axe to kill now. Okay, that's a really bad spot for summon stand. Yeah, there's the forward smash, but now it's an even game once again. Both players are at one stock, at z are being at two stock of zero percent. Slyman actually has a lead though. Well then Pikachu takes it back, but... They were kind of trading it at the beginning there. Simon doesn't really go for an edge guard at all, but Simon still dies to the back throw. That 
was a lot of stuff happening at once. I think what happened there was Simon side special peeked too into the axe, and the axe's hit stun allowed him to get a forward smash or a forward tilt. I couldn't really tell what that was. I'm gonna watch the video replay for that though. Yeah, that was a forward smash. That was kind of messed up, actually. But he basically just got everything lined up perfectly and took the shot. And it worked. like that's going to be it for Simon though. So yeah, that game actually lasted a lot longer than I thought. Pikachu could have just backered Simon like four times in a row and then Simon would have died. And then all Pikachu would have had to do is just do that a total of 12 times and then that would have been the game. And now we've got Politana versus Olimar here. Whoever wins this moves on to finals. If Olimar moves on, then Ever moves on to finals in the other um, side of bracket, basically just gets to move on to the pre-contest of champions for free. Yeah. But this is kind of a decent matchup for Politana. No, she's just gonna spam explosive flame, but that's honestly not a bad strategy against Olimar. Song and they kind of delivered that. But yeah, Politane is dead. Yeah, Olimar's only at 72%, so he's still come back from being up smashed. That was also pretty decent timing, but yeah, Olimar's taking the lead. And another up smash. Still kind of pretty close, that's why I haven't really been saying anything. Because I usually talk whenever they're split up, but they seem to be or seem to be trading the lead.
Just reflect the Pikmin and make Olimar do that thing wherever he forward smashes himself. Or, you know, just back throw. So yeah, Politana moves on to finals, so now it's either between Pikachu and Bowser on who makes the finals in there. Actually, kind of come from opposite sides there. There's like symmetrical pattern, kind of like a mirror pattern, I guess. For Bowser and Pikachu. Yeah, Bowser actually has a lead here against Pikachu. And I was going to say he can kill Pikachu with pretty much anything at this percent, and he did that with down special. Pikachu can also just down our Bowser at this percent for a kill. Yeah, side special coming out from Bowser is going to give him two stock lead here, so it looks like he might be able to make it. And he's going to land a dash check into up that. So yeah, he got a three stock against Pikachu. Like I thought. Pikachu is just gonna destroy Bowser there at the beginning of the match, but then Bowser just kind of took Pikachu's first lock and ran with it. So yeah, Bowser actually has won the tournament in the past, so I guess that kind of makes sense. And these two don't really come from opposite sides of the bracket, but it kind of looks like they do. It's very close. Yeah, now we have Politana versus Bowser for finals. There's probably going to be less CP tournament I do for now. I might do one later tonight. Just to go ahead and get the pre COC one, I mean, two and three out of the way. But this is going to be the last one I do like in a row. And then I'm kind of just going to take a break. Yeah, Bowser's actually got advantage at the beginning here. Look, Palutena's starting to make a return. I mean, all she really has to do is just hit the X button and then the A button. Or hit them both at the same time. Without even moving the control stick. Like, all she has to do is just hit those two buttons simultaneously. Yeah, it looks like Bowser's kind of got this one as well. That side special is going to do a lot, but it's not going to be enough to kill for that up air will. That foot was actually going to be enough, so Bowser with another 3 stock against Palutena. But yeah, as I said earlier, I think Bowser's actually a pretty solid character, but I didn't expect him to do that well here. I mean, you had Peach and Greninja, or I guess Bowser got to play against Peach first, so... You had Greninja, Peach, Lucina, I mean not Lucina, but um, Pikachu and... Politano all here for top tier characters at least. So that's like 
part of the competition that he had to go up against and he still managed to pull through. But yeah, that is going to be all that I do for now. I will be back later. I actually want to see what my um, stats are for playtime with characters. I want to see what I got Mewtwo up to. I don't think I played that much as Mewtwo. So, let's see. Yeah, Mewtwo's at number 46. So, he probably moved up, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, that is going to be all that I have time for for now. Let me make sure that I get Mewtwo replay data. Because I want to make a compilation of me doing stuff with each character. Let me see if I have one. Yeah, I do have one for Mewtwo, okay. So, yeah, I am just going to go ahead and end this stream here. And I guess I hope to see everyone later tonight, I think I will stream. So, yeah, I guess I hope to see everyone then.